what they do, what they do, and <laughs> You guys are new to my channel i am a lifestyle beauty and entrepreneur life creator so if you're interested in any of those things make sure you subscribe down below and whatnot join the gang join the family because we lit over here okay period so anyway in today's video i'm showing you guys how i'll achieve this forces look down bun or whatever it's not fresh so please don't be looking at it like it look a little dusty and you we heard about you before you even got up here like you have a chance, you need to be trying to get an education because your looks ain't gonna get you paid. Because you're not that cute. And your hair is uneven. You look dusty. Like this has been in for um, a couple of days now. I'm just now um, filming this because I had a fashion show the next day after doing my hair. So I didn't have time to film the outcome of what my hair looked like fresh. I do have a clip, but it's a little dusty. So I'm gonna still insert it to show y'all what it looked like freshly done, but I just want to come and film this real quick, film my intro and my outro. I'm about to be out the door, got to go. So just film this real quick and I'm gonna head out. If y'all did not know, like I said, I'm an entrepreneur. I do sell body care. This ain't got nothing to do with this video, but I just thought I'd let y'all know because literally I'm finna leave like run out the door. So spray myself before I leave the bathroom. Anyway, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys at the end of the video. Hey y'all, so I'm gonna give y'all everything you need. You need a hard brush, you need an edge brush, and you need a paddle brush. We gotta detangle, so make sure you have a paddle brush on hand then the hair clips so you might need more than one for me my hair is fairly thin because of my anemia and because my hair was stretched so i only needed one then this is my favorite leave-in conditioner of all time this is the camille rose honey hydrate leave-in conditioner make sure y'all go cop that this is my second favorite this is the pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner by my i think that's how you say it but this is good too and it smells so bomb so yeah, any leave-in that you have will work, whatever works for your hair, but those are great for 4C. Next is the Extreme Professional Styling Gel. Um, I got the 10 grade hold. There's a blue one, I don't know how much strong that one is, but this is the one that I use, and it's only like $2 at Walmart, so y'all go cop, and it's alcohol-free, so we love to see it, period. But anyways, get y'all stuff together, let's get started. All right, y'all, I know I look rough, but it's okay. So um, start time was 1.17, that's when we started, y'all. Literally, this only takes like 38 minutes, but I wet my hair. I don't have a spray bottle, I forgot to get one from the store, so I was using water from the faucet, whatever. And then I'm following up with my leave-in conditioners and just going from a root to tip, tip to root, however you wanna do it and just massaging that through my hair. Now we're gonna take the paddle brush. This is so bomb for like detangling if you don't have a dimming brush. And my hair is blown out and like braided down so it was stretched. That's why my hair looks so like thin and why it's so manageable. Um, I recommend it if you have a lot of hair and you're worried about tangling and it taking too long. But this still works even if your hair isn't blown out. But just do the same thing to both sides. All right, so this is how we're looking. We gonna shrunk up, y'all. And now I'm about to do the gel step and we're gonna slick our hair down. All right, y'all, so I'm just taking my Extreme Styling Gel and I'm gonna start by placing it and thick amounts around my parts and on my edges. This kind of just defining like how I want it to lay and defining my part a little bit more because my hair was already pre-parted from the cornrows I had in. So that's why you didn't see me do that step. It was already done. So now I'm just gonna start adding more to the top of my hair. I'm not really so much going into the like roots or um, all throughout my hair because I really didn't need to. If you follow these steps, then this should help. But if you have thicker hair, then I recommend going in sections and laying the gel down on your roots and putting
pushing it through. So now the powder brush is really important for getting a really slick foundation. You wanna make sure you detangle first of all, and then use the powder brush to like remove any lumps while you're pulling your hair into a ponytail. And then the hard brush will go in and just like smooth it all and get it perfectly shaped. Um, as I go, I just take a little bit more gel and put it on any flyaways that I see sticking up because I did see a couple of hair sticking up and I put some on the back of my hair as well. And I'm just going to tie it into a bun. Make sure you don't go crazy with it and do it too tight because y'all, you don't want to mess up your edges and pull yourself ball head. Just do it enough to where it stays firm. But now um, I'm doing my edges. So I didn't go into too much detail on this part because it's not an edge video it's just like me showing you guys how to get the perfect slick bun but my trick for 40 edges because people always ask me this like how i get them to lay y'all a bunch of product is gonna be your friend on your edges okay just make sure you moisturize them first before you like put a bunch of gel on them but don't try to brush them without enough gel being there like lay it on baby lay it on make sure it's not the type that's gonna like flick up on you and then use the comb part of your edge brush and then follow up with the hard part of the edge brush if that makes sense and be very light handed with it and then follow through with your finger that's key like make sure you slick it down with your finger but if you guys want a more detailed video let me know down below in the comments and i would definitely get that to you but now i'm just going through with a little bit of gel here and there just to touch up where it needs to be touched up and smoothing down where there's excess gel left around my edges this next part is so important like have your scarves ready early so the first layer is the silk scarf you want to tie this on and make sure it's covering your bun so that your hair is protected under there but this is going to help your edges to lay down like if your edges aren't laying it's probably because you're not laying them down with the scarf when you're done next you want to get a do-rag so this do-rag like the way I wrap it around the bun is key because your bun isn't gonna stay slick or your hair around it is not gonna stay down with just a scarf. So this is my second layer of reinforcement. Okay, it might seem a little excessive, but this works. So now this is a foam edge wrap. This just makes sure that the two layers stay in place the whole time. And it makes sure that no moisture gets to my edges to make them puff back up. And then finally, I just go in and cover my hair with a bonnet. That's totally optional though. All right. All right, y'all, so I know I look a little crazy, but um, this is how it looks when I'm done. It's nothing to really see, but yeah. You see how I tie down my um, bandana and stuff? Yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's better to let it sit overnight, but um, because like your hair isn't soaking wet, it should dry pretty fast. But y'all, this process, like all the, I know it seemed a bit excessive, all the scarves and stuff that I use, but being 4C, I found that it's the best way to do it. And the, um, especially if you're going to sleep with it, like you want to like wrap it, wrap it. And they all do different things. So I found that this gets me the best slip down. Like my hair don't puff back up, nothing like that. So a lot of people will be asking me how I do it and that's how i do it so i said i'll make a video about it so anyways um that didn't even take me a full hour it's 155 and we started at 117 i think and that's what we like stopping to like do stuff with the camera redoing stuff but yeah 38 minutes or whatever and you're done so if you need a fast hairstyle to do this is gonna be the one like after you wash your hair and stuff your hair is still wet and you're like what can i do do a slip down button and keep it moving like i do this on wash days sometimes i just let my hair my scarf sit while i do my makeup while i pack my stuff if i'm going somewhere and sometimes when i go into the store i let my do rag stay on and i go into the store so I had to go where I actually got to be, you feel me? So this is a really good protective style. But anyway, I'm not gonna over talk. I will see you guys in the morning.
Y'all, I'm so sorry for the video quality. It's so trash, but I had a fashion show and didn't have time to record. Quick tip, um, I'll wait to know if your hair is fully dry before you take off the scarf so you don't mess up your hair and it doesn't frizz up, is that it will start to slide off by itself when it's fully dry. So I just wanna come on here and say that really fast. All right, guys, so thank you again for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Make sure y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all wanna see next, and I'm gonna get back with y'all. Bye, guys.